Hello guys, Bob Frankenstein coming back at you once again and as you can see I'm not on the uh, not on the bike today I um, have a, uh, a special video for you today it's um, just uh, mostly about my uh, my personal GoPro setup um, you know how I have it on the uh, the helmet on the uh, the chin mount there on the uh, well the chin area basically anyway um, just kind of wanted to go over, um, you know, the easiest and best place to uh, put your GoPro. Um, that way, you know, you get the uh, the best view of not only the horizon but also uh, your bike too, as well. And I know when uh, a lot of people, you know, they first get a uh, a GoPro, um, you know, for the helmet. Uh, basically, they find uh, they find one of these guys. The, uh, the curve mount, we're going to talk about that in just a little bit here. But anyway, they say, oh, yes, this is awesome. This is a great mount. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, stick it up here. Just put the uh, the GoPro on there and I'll be, uh, I'll be fine. Yeah, a that's what most of them say. And um, I don't like it up here. I don't like the, uh, the GoPro to be set up here. Because first off, you look like you're eight feet tall. Second off is that the camera's gonna have to be swiveled downward, um, so you're just looking straight down. You're not even looking forward. Um, so when you turn your head, you know it's uh, <laughs> you can't see pretty much anything in front of you. Um, it's just right here is usually the best uh, the best way to go. Once you turn your head, whatever you see, the camera sees, and um, usually the visor too. Um, you really ha would have to put this up just to get away from the visor. You know, you can't put it down here or anything. So, um, just a couple points. Uh, just going to kind of go over um, just my setup. I know a lot of people have done their own variations, but just a quick, uh, quick video to get out there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this apart um, piece by piece. Just kind of go over the pieces. I think I have... A total of well seven pieces including uh, the adhesive mount um, I'll go ahead I'll break it down go over the pieces and just uh, show you my setup so um yeah roll film As I promised, um, I basically got all my set off, um, set up uh, off, um, get all the uh, the mounts taken apart and everything, and um, yeah, basically I'm only using uh, six uh, six mounts and the uh, the curved mount, and um, you know instead of uh, me uh, putting it you know just right on the uh, the front of it. Um, you know, my visor can't really close uh, onto it or anything. Um, there's not really much I can do with it just being there. So, uh, can't uh, just put it on the chin there because of uh, basically my vent is uh, right there. So, um, either side, if you have this problem as well, um, it, it's fine. Um, either side, there's usually a, uh, a smooth area to where you can put on your, your curve mount. Make sure it's definitely a curve mount, not a uh, straight mount uh, like one of the oval ones. Um, what you're going to do first is you're going to go ahead and clean the spot that you want to put uh, your curve mount on. Find somewhere along the side, kind of right next to the, uh, the chin rest here, right about here. Um, you'd clean that. Uh, clean it off, make sure there's, you know, no dirt, debris, bugs, um, anything like that. So anyway, 
Um, yeah, go ahead and clean it off. Then what you're going to do is that you're actually going to, uh, to peel uh, this off. It's going to basically peel off. You're going to set it usually about right there. Don't tip it too down or, you know, too high. Just, uh, just kind of leveled uh, with the chin there. And then you're going to go ahead and press it uh, for about 30 seconds to about a minute is usually what I do. Um, just make sure it's got a good, uh, good grasp. Let it dry after that. Do not mess with it for about uh, a day, 24 hours. Just give it. Uh, the only thing you should do is just keep putting pressure, if anything. Other than that, don't, uh, don't mess with it. Um, I already have mine here. Um, after about a year and a half, it's doing a very good job. Uh, still sturdy, still doing its thing. So I'm not going to take it off and replace it just yet. So um, I'm going to leave it there. But basically, uh, you know, same thing. Uh, I did the same thing with this. And uh, it's dried, of course. Everything, we're ready to go. Okay, so after you've got uh, your, uh, your adhesive mount, uh, there is a very nice and special mount. It's called a J-hook. And it looks like this. It uh, kind of curves um, kind of inward. And this is what you're going to need. You sh probably shouldn't, you know, pay more than 2 to $4 on it for eBay. Very, very cheap. Um, so we've got that. This is a pretty much a requirement uh, for the chin mount for it to actually uh, curve over um, in order to get to the middle side. And you're going to basically put it like that. So basically I have, um, you know, some other mounts here and uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over those for you too. Um, I've got uh, basically two small straight mounts. Um, basically the, uh, the holes just line up um, very small. I have two of these and then I've got a small, uh, what I call an opposite mount where the hole is this way and then the other hole is open the opposite way. A small one of that. And then two long opposites. So uh, you can see the holes are facing this way, and then the two holes are facing uh, that way. It's a total of six. So you're, you're only going to basically need these six. Um, just kind of mix and match. Um, very cheap on eBay to find uh, just, you know, extra uh, GoPro parts, basically. So in a nutshell. All right. So for us to uh, go ahead and start, um, start getting... Uh, I'm filming on my GoPro, uh, obviously, so I'm just going to use the case as a GoPro. In order to get our GoPro to over here, to make it, um, you know, about the middle, about even, what we're going to need to do is uh, go ahead and fit the J-mount on uh, with the curve um, facing away from the helmet. So it should fit in. There we go. Make sure it clicks. Yes. All right. So... Um, next thing that we need to do is that we need to start building uh, over this way. Uh, it's just kind of like a Legos, it connects. Um, I grew up on those, I don't know if you remember them or not. But um, basically, uh, yeah, so you're going to use uh, one of your, your long ones, uh, your long opposites. Basically, you're just going to put that there. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of build this to what it's going to look like. And then I'll go ahead and put the screws in. Uh, I've, got, I've got all the screws down here. So, um, you know, it should, uh, should work out, should uh, hold up with everything. But anyway, so um, got our first opposite. And the nub is on the inside here um, so that the, uh, the screw can fit on the outside. Don't want it bumping in. And that's the, that's the key with any uh, chin mount is uh, to watch out where your screws are really going to go because you don't want your screws to be, you know, hitting your helmet or knocking onto somewhere, you know, where it's not going to fit later on. So, um, yep. Basically, uh, next step we have, uh, just go ahead and use the, um, the next uh, opposite. I'm trying to squeeze that in there. You know what, actually, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of, there we go. Because that one was stuck. I'm going to put this one down so it's not facing up. So we've got one uh, nub facing the inside, one nub facing uh, up. And then what you're going to do, um, basically, 
the rest is uh, the rest is pretty simple. Um, all your, um, your small mounts left, and um, what you need to do uh, to achieve um, this coming in and then up to put your your GoPro there. It's very basically uh, pretty simple. What you're going to do is that you're going to use one of the small straight mounts um, where the holes you know line up. Uh, this is going to start um, just like this, the hole and then the nub facing up. And then you're going to go ahead, uh, you're going to use the opposite, uh, the small opposite. Uh, it's going to go in there, make sure that the nub is facing on the, uh, the left. And then you're going to use your second straight, uh, straight small. And you're going to make sure that that's turned to the right. So basically, um, it goes in sequence, hole, up, left, right. And uh, basically, you're just going to put this onto the, uh, the second opposite long one. And then here's what you do. You're going to go ahead, uh, put this up, and put it all the way turned. So it's facing kind of just like that. So one more time, going to do that again. Kind of like a, uh, a snake here. So basically, you're going to go ahead, turn this one all the way up, and then this turn this one all the way to the, uh, well, you know, counterclockwise, basically. And that's going to basically give you, um, give you your setup. And then, of course, you know, you can use this to adjust um, whatever angle you need. Um, then you're going to, you know, in the end, um, just go ahead and make sure, you know, that it uh, levels up with everything without the screws. Uh, first, before you put the screws in, because... Uh, <laughs> it just gets tiring uh, trying to put in the screws. Notice you screwed up and then have to do it all over again. So it's looking good. Um, our camera is basically uh, basically facing uh, straight. It's a little bit to the right, but that's fine. Uh, your horizon view is going to be perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, just put in the uh, put in the screws here. Okay, so um, there we go. Um, as you've probably noticed, um, I have my uh, the GoPro case um, with the openings on the side, uh, basically from my mic. And what I do, I just run my mic uh, literally just from uh, here, uh, the USB port, all the way in, and then I just put my uh, my mic uh, on the inside. Just a regular, you know, wired mic, nothing fancy, fancy schmancy, but, um, it, you know, it gets the job done. Uh, that's the main thing. But, um, yeah, so it, it may take, you know, a little bit of ingenuity, um, if you don't want to, you know, um, do it my way. But, um, in my opinion, you know, it's the uh, cheapest way, uh, the fastest way. Um, it really does well for your helmet. Um, it's a lot better than putting it, you know, way up here, um, to where, you know, everything is just out of view. You don't get that horizon. And, um, here, you know, it, it's easier to use your mic. Um, it's easier to see wherever you look is where it's going to film. And they, they also too, as an afterthought, um, they do make, uh, screws to where, you know, they're not sticking out, but, um, you know, it, it's whatever. I had what I had. Um, most of these parts were just when I, you know, got my GoPro and um, the screws came with it. So there is a way to get all the screws uh, to where they're just flat down. But um, I don't worry about it. It doesn't bother me much. But um, yeah, so uh, that's uh, that's pretty much my uh, my GoPro setup. Um, what I use pretty much every video, every vlog. Uh, this is a setup that I use. If you like it. Um, you know, there you go. If not, um, you know, uh, drop a comment, um, you know, just tell us, uh, kind of the, uh, the ones that you use. I know that there are different variations that you can buy for like, uh, 30 bucks, 40 bucks that just has the mount and then it turns your GoPro like upside down. I don't like that only cause, uh, it gives it a weird view when it's upside down and, um, 
this is a lot cheaper than 30 bucks um and plus when you're in the software you don't have to flip it i know there's nothing to it but um really you don't have to flip it just um put it in and go so all right so i'm gonna go ahead um just uh light up this video um if you want to uh subscribe uh, i'd appreciate it um uh you know give me a like uh, drop a comment uh youtube uh follow me on facebook uh twitter follow me on twitter and um check out my website uh, i got uh, you know a couple more articles coming up i hope you enjoy it um, for everyone out there, uh, you know, no matter if you're riding a, a cruiser, sports bike, uh, adventure bike, scooter, whatever, I don't care. Ride safe, ride responsibly, and um, yeah, take care. All right, Bob Frankenstein, over and out.